What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as Mental Illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. Short edition, five minutes or less. Stick around to the end, y'all. Goodness. Um, today's episode is going to be about how you need to make narcissists and toxic people earn your information. Do not give people the blueprint to manipulate you. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. So this person is saying on her first date with her possibly narcissistic ex that he asked her what would make the perfect person for her. And then he became that perfect person. This is why I tell people to make people earn your information. Because if you give a narcissist or a toxic person the blueprint to what you're looking for, they're going to become that. I mean, why wouldn't they? If you tell me all your likes and dislikes, I'm going to start doing that stuff right there and avoid the things that you don't like. I'm going to become the perfect person for you. But as you know right now, because this is your ex, I was never really that person. They just pretended to be that person because you ended up giving them the blueprint to become everything that you ever wanted and needed. A lot of people think that a narcissist on a first date is going to talk all about them, which can be true, but sometimes they're going to make it all about you. It's like an information gathering session where they are plugging you for information while barely giving you anything about themselves. They'll ask you deep penetrating questions and give you vague answers. Make people earn your information over time. So welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. If you couldn't read the text on the screen, it says on my first date with my ex, one of the questions he asked me was, if I had the perfect guy, what would that be? He then fooled me by pretending to be just that. Woo, y'all, do not, if somebody asks you the questions, why? Why are you somebody like you single? What's the perfect person in your eyes? What's the perfect significant other in your eyes? Do not give people the blueprint to manipulate you. A lot of narcissists and toxic people are architects of manipulation. And I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to, to uh, quote that one. Architects of manipulation. <laughs> it's fire, isn't it? Um, so do not give them the blueprints. They're looking to blueprint. Oh, you like you like yellow roses. Make sure you do that. What what about your dislikes? Tell me what tell me what you don't like. Oh, you don't like that. I was oh I was gonna do that too. I was gonna do that, but thank you, thank goodness you told me you don't like that. <laughs> Save me some time. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna clap them cheeks. <laughs> Stop giving people the blueprint to manipulate you with. Make people earn your information. Well, Lee, how do we make them earn our information? By taking your damn time. Slow that yo, slow the hell down. God damn. I get super frustrated when I talk about this topic right here because people, if y'all just slowed the hell down, it would save you so much pain, struggling, and strife. You should not be living with somebody in a week. They should not have their damn duffel bag or trash bag at your house with their clothes and utensils and stuff in it. Their toiletries in it. They should not have a toothbrush at your house within a month. Slow down. Make people earn your information. Don't don't learn about them on the go. Don't learn about them later on. Don't learn don't learn their don't learn them later on and let them learn you up front. But that's typically how it works with narcissists and toxic people. They learn you up front and you learn them later on. You learn them on down the road while they learn you up front so they can manipulate you. And then you learn who they really are later on. Take your time. Make sure this person set a boundary. Say no. Find, find a way to say no. Lee, how do we avoid narcissists? Find a way to say no. You don't have to do everything this person wants you to do. Believe it, they're, they're, a hot, they're a hot commodity. They're handsome. They're cute. And they're funny. Rabble, rabble, rabble. More more people want them. And I don't want to miss out on them. Then buckle up. Buckle your safety belt up. Cause you're, going for a, uh, you're going for a bumpy ass ride with this toxic person. They want you to feel like, uh, like narcissistic people want you to feel like you have to jump on them right now. If you don't take me, somebody else is going to take me. And they'll make you feel that way. Slow down, y'all. Make them earn your information. If this is forever, why are we rushing? You see what I'm saying? If this is forever, why are we rushing? Take your time. Slow down. It will save you so much time. It will save you so much pain and emotional struggling and strife. And sometimes physical struggle and strife. It will save your kids some struggle and strife. It will save you some money. Slow down, y'all. Please. Please, please, please. This is my <laughs> this is my request to you. Make people earn your information. Don't give people the benefit of the doubt. If they lie to you up front, they will lie to you later on. Slow down. There's seven O's in my slow down. Anyways, y'all like and subscribe for more. Y'all see the brand is here. I'm aware. I love me. The self-love brand. Like and subscribe for more. Mental illness is out. Peace.